Question number 21. An Indian importer has to settle an import bill for dollar one lakh thirty thousand. So the import bill is dollar one thirty. The exporter has given two options to the Indian importer. This is an error in the question. Indian importer, two options, right? Pay immediately without any interest charges and pay after three months with interest of five percent. Okay. The importer's bank charges fifteen percent on overdrafts, and the exchange rate spot is given to us rupee by dollar. Three month forward is given to us rupee by dollar. The importer seeks your advice. Give your advice. What would be ideal your your advice to the importer is select the option the least outflows, right? So let's start with the question. Now the first thing is pay immediately without any interest charges. So of course the importer will not have to pay the five percent interest if he pays today at spot immediately, but he will have to borrow from the bank because by default we are assuming the importer right now today does not have any funds so he'll borrow from the bank importer's bank in india importer is an indian right at 15 percent on overdraft one overdraft facility right they are saying that and we wanted just for how many months three months okay this is per annum so the first option is pay today immediately so how much does he have to pay one lakh 30,000 and at spot the rate will be 48.35 or 48.36 what do we select see I'll write it again rupee by dollar 48.35 and 48.36 now it's a dollar quote and uh, the importer wants to buy dollar right because he will have to pay the exporter correct so he wants to buy dollar from the bank right so buy at a high or low the customer always buys at a higher rate right the customer is always at a loss so we select this so this rate is immaterial for me 48.36 is my rate correct now what is my exposure once again dollar one lakh thirty thousand is what i have to pay in dollars now since i'm paying it at spot i have to convert it into rupee at this particular rate into 48.36 this is a rupee by dollar quote a dollar quote dollar dollar goes why did I multiply this because I had to cancel out the dollar okay the common currency and with me I am left with equivalent rupee which comes up to 62 lakh 86,800 correct rupee rupee correct now why did i convert this at spot because i have to pay immediately and then on this particular amount since i've borrowed this from the bank i as in the importer has borrowed from the bank he has to pay an interest on this on this particular overdraft facility that he has availed the interest rate is and this interest will also be in rupees why because the bank is the importer's bank if you see this in the question they've mentioned see the importer's bank now the importer is an indian so this is the indian bank so in, interest goes out in rupees this is already in rupees so now interest at the rate 15 percent per annum so we'll add this 62 lakh 86 into 15 into only for three months we need this This gives me two lakh thirty five thousand seven fifty five, and I'm going to add sixty two eighty six eight hundred. This would give me a figure of sixty five lakh twenty two thousand five fifty five. What rupee again? All this is in rupee. This amount I'm paying to the exporter today, okay? And this particular interest will be paid to the bank, right? And this amount, this sixty two lakh eighty six thousand, is what goes to the exporter okay now option two but this is my total outflow okay total outflow in option one correct if I select this option now we go to option two okay which is what which is to pay after three months but with an interest of five percent per annum so if i pay after three months see the three month forward is given to me again this is also rupee by dollar which rate again the higher rate right 
because I will have to buy dollars, okay, and sell rupee. So buy dollar, it's a dollar quote. See, dollar is the standard currency here. So the higher rate, 48.83. So, how much is the exporter exposure? I'm sorry. The exposure amount that is amount basically to be paid. It is in dollars one lakh thirty thousand given to us in the question. But in the second option, do I only have to pay this amount? No. On this, I will have to add the interest and that principal that is one lakh thirty thousand plus that particular interest of five percent. Uh, per annum which we have to do it for three months will go to the exporter okay so add this interest year only I'll do the calculation one lakh thirty thousand into five percent into three by twelve would give me one six two five and when I add this I will get one three one six two five one lakh thirty one thousand six twenty five but what dollar this interest is also dollar okay now we'll convert okay so for that three month forward rate we had already selected this rate which was rupee by dollar given to us once again we'll go in the question this rate forty eight point eight three okay the higher rate because we want to buy dollar and it's a dollar quote okay dollar is the standard currency 40 48.83 okay so we have a dollar exposure and it's a dollar quote so therefore we multiply in order for the dollar to cancel out so this will be dollar 131625 into rupee by dollar 48.83 I will be left with the rupee equivalent 131,625 into 48. Oh God, 131,625 into 48.83. This would give me 64,27,248.75. 249 also you can say. This is the answer. Okay, so you could say rupee. 64,27,249. Correct, we are rounding it off. So this is the final outflow in the second option. So you could say, therefore, outflow in the option 2. Correct. So then all you have to do is compare. See, this is the total outflow. Okay, total. Including the interest. This is your final outflow in second option. And in the first option, the outflow was this total. Total in the first option. See, including everything, you pay to the bank, you pay to the exporter, everything. Your final cash outflow as an importer is this. 65,22,555 and you're at 64,27,000. So basically, the second one is the lower cash outflow. So this is, you know, this is good for you as an importer because your outflows are less. It's quite, uh, you know, common sense, right? Therefore... Your final conclusion is uh, the second option is to be chosen, right? As the total cash outflows are lower when compared to the first option, right? This is the answer. Thank you. Bye.